Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle El Oso from CZT Nadine Roller. It's a beautiful story behind the name of the tangle. Uh, so I will leave it to you to go and uh, take a look at the For More Inspiration link in the description section. And, uh, and yeah, it's just really cute. All right. Um, this is a grid pattern. And I am going to make a little border around the top. This is a neat one. All straight lines. That's all we're doing today. <laughs> all right. Now, oh, let me, let's, we're just going to do a four square. Okay. Now, the, the next steps are, are interesting. And I contemplate, I'm like, going, well, hmm, should I combine these? Because it would make sense. Or should I not? And is there a deeper reason behind doing it this way? So the next step is this. We're going to just draw straight lines. You, you know, pick whichever side you want. And we're going to essentially aura. And what I was doing is, you know, I'm kind of picking a distance uh, from the corner, from the side. And then, well, it's easier if you can see the whole thing. Try to mirror that on the other side. And I'm trying to keep the same distance from everything, but it is a bit of a forgiving tangle. And I'll show you how, how that is. Okay, and then we're going to connect those. So essentially we're creating a box. But she has it in two different steps. And I think... Well, this is, oh, I should say, this is my feeling behind it. Because I thought, well, you know what, let's just do it this way. And I think because of the, the next steps, it just all goes together. Versus, oh, I'm just going to make a box in the center. A little bit more, uh, I don't know, uh, deliberate or something. Anyway, um, next step. So I'm going to come from the side. Or actually, no, come a little bit here. So on the in, from the inside, inside to the outside, <laughs> we're going to put a couple lines. And so, you know, and this is one of those where I'm just guessing where I want them. So about like that. So, so sort of in the middle and maybe a third-ish of the way because we want to leave a gap and then do the same thing. Now here, of course, you can continue it on, but I kind of <clears throat> like the idea a little bit, especially on the next step of <sighs> this one, it doesn't matter as much, but the next one is what, uh, if you need your the tile to be, if you need it to be forgiving, that's what will make the difference. <laughs> Let me just switch this up so that way well, I'll start from over here. And you might want to start inside the box and work your way out. Like I said, and you can just continue it on if you want. It's okay. But we definitely want to have that gap in the center. Okay, because <clears throat> the next step is we're going to, so this top line, we're going to take that and come out. And this one and come out. Um, you know what? I'm going to just do the top. Okay, now this one, we're, it, 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 ultimately, it's going to connect with here, but because it's entangled and, you know, things might not line up right. So I, that's why I kind of pause, stop there, and then kind of continue on. And here, oh, that where I can just meet that up. But if it's really off, you might want to just do it this way. So that way, we're coming down here, this we're coming up. So that way you're just doing a section at a time. 
And this, so like this, that it could angle a little bit, or you know whatever whatever needs to happen, but um, it's just interesting. So this is why I was thinking, you know what? Maybe there is a a, a deeper reason for doing the box in those sections the way Nadine has us doing them, because it's just oh the sides. And then, and then this one, it's sides, you know, one side and then the other side. That is my idea of why, and I'm just going to stick to it. I think that it's just rather neat to do that. And then look at this amazing, you know, uh, so many things we can do with this, right? So in, uh, well, take a look at the For More Inspiration link also. She starts off with samples and then goes to the... Um, the step out and so you can take a look at ideas on how to finish this off on my version of the um, of the step out I did a little bit something different in each box but I think this one I'm gonna try to pick oh my, my, my two favorites maybe and that would be let's see oh yeah I can't okay I kind of like those two oh I didn't want that pen either <laughs> I'm just picking pens and pulling off the caps. Uh, all right. And so all of this space you can decorate. Fill in, shade. Uh, you know, if you want to use color, you can. If you want to use, I used some, uh, uh, just put some lines in on one of mine. Um, let's start this one. I'm going to fill in these boxes. And I was thinking too, oh, maybe I'll do that on here. Hmm. It's not really enough, well, necessarily enough space um, as, a, as a fill in because, because you could put orbs. You could do whatever it is that you want to do, and it's all fine. Because sometimes, wow. Well, sometimes it's neat to have contrasting textures so you know this is very angular right in all straight lines and so to have something that has some curves in it is just kind of neat but again however you want to do it it's up to you all right so there's that and then oh yeah this one i just want to shade i'm just going to use uh, the pencil and I'm not going to do any gradient on this one I am just filling it in and then we'll use the tortillon just to smooth it I don't do that that often but it is it's kind of nice right there's a couple tangles that that uh, call for that and I need to wait a minute oh yeah it's sort of neaten that up. Ooh, and maybe I'll do something on those outsides. Okay. Well, you know, and, I, and I'm going to, I'm going to do them like just two, two patterns and, and alternate them uh, just cause that's fun. Okay. Yeah. And then the other one was this filling in this. It's kind of neat to do sort of opposites. That's one way to approach something like this. That's, you know, at first my brother was like, Oh, too many spots to fill in. I don't know what to do, and um, I, well, I want and I wanted to do something uh, different, not necessarily uh, copy what uh, Nadine had in hers. And so that's one of the you know first thoughts. I was like, okay, well, well, that's the first first thought is uh, the actual first thought is, hmm, where where is a place that I might need to adjust? <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, then we'll take a look. All right, and then oh, that's right, and this one I did because I liked it. Little lines in here.
And well, this this one, I, I was like, well, the insides are kind of similar, sort of, but this one I am just gonna do on the edges. And just make a bit of a gradient like that sort of and then I'm gonna copy copy but switch these two because it'll be neat so while I do that let me tell you um, well actually let me ask you if you have enjoyed this and I hope you have please click on the like button you need a hand stretch anyway if you're tangling along with me you need a hand stretch um, yeah, please click the like button. If you like it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, in the description section, I mentioned that, uh, I, you'll find links to the step out. So I was do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. And then below that ways to connect with me. So again, if you would like to, uh, I have a link to my website where you can follow my blog there. Uh, and I pretty much just, I do a daily tangle. That's what this is. And then when I get around to doing, uh, putting out replays of things or just, you know, results from classes, I, I do post them. Uh, so I don't blow it up too much. You get at least something every day, just so you know. Um, so that is there. Um, below that, I also have a link to my Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook, uh, would love to have you follow me there. That's where I, I, I put, I put classes there. Um, they're listed on my website, but I, I have yet to, um, make an effort to <laughs> actually, I'm going to do all the black first. So that way that's done. Um, make an effort to um put posts out oh hey here's the here's the calendar for you know the month or something like that that's my intention someday i'll get to doing that but facebook uh, there are also some other places that are listed on the classes uh, pa uh page on my website you'll see that in the menu uh, but that way you can get an idea a lot of them are free just so you know i do have some that are paid uh, so you will uh, see that if you go to that classes page, you can scroll down and see the classes. And you know what? If you if you if you are sad that you missed out on one, you can purchase the replays because I I record everything, and um, yeah, and then you could you could always buy the replay. It'll be just like you're there almost. You just, you know, if you did, only, only uh, difference is that if you write something, you, you, there's no chat feature to write anything in. Although you could, you could type in the comment section and I'll, I can answer that uh, when I see it. Yeah. Cause I, I do that and I don't edit. <laughs> it's just how it is. I, well, I take it back. I might like clip off some at the end when I forget to, uh, you know what? I'm going to use what's left on the tortillon here. Uh, when I forget to turn off the recording. Uh, yeah, there's enough left on here. So we have a lot of fun. And, you know, and you can check us out for free. I do have, if you go, to, if you click on my, uh, my name, you know, below the video, click on my name or um, picture. And that will take you to like the home page of the YouTube channel. And there you'll see I have playlists. Uh, I do have a playlist called uh, Class Recaps or something like that. All right, got to do something with those outside boxes. At least on some of them. Hmm. You know, I'll do the, I don't think I'll do the little lines because it's, oh, I'll do them a different direction. There we go. Um, always the deciding is the hardest part for me. <laughs> but it's okay. You just go with it. Oh, that's right. If I'm doing it, I should do them all the same direction. If I'm looking at the tile in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. Don't have to, but that was my plan. 
All right. Uh, last but not least in that description section, if you would like to hang out with a bunch of really neat Tangle addicts, we would love to hang out with you. Uh, th there's a link to our private uh, Facebook community uh, group. And there are four questions to answer to gain entry. And uh, then you can just join us in the ongoing party. <laughs> As we do like to have a lot of fun. Now these have to be a little darker. I tried. Sometimes you just do have to have the graphite there. It is close. But I can just go light. All right. So I think I said everything. And what timing? I didn't I didn't goof anything up because sometimes when I talk while I'm doing this, I'm gonna use the back of this tortillon. See if I can pick up some of that graphite in there. Oh look at that. That's a neat trick. Mom taught me. She's like, you know, even if you don't use an eraser, you can use the back of it or or a clean tortillon and it will bring it will pick up the uh, the graphite a little bit. Lighten it up or something. There we go. Neat tangle. I think it, it, take, it takes longer to decorate it than it does to do it. <laughs> All right. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you happy tangling.